Welcome back to this platform. Here we have Antony's ex-girlfriend issue statement following his Manchester United return. The Man United winger could be available for selection for Tuesday's Champions League clash against Galatasaray after returning to the UK this week. So, the ex-girlfriend of Antony has issued a fresh statement after the winger's return to the Manchester United squad earlier this week. Gabriela Cavallin has accused Antony of committing physical and psychological violence against her. The 23-year-old denies those claims and voluntarily agreed to meet with Greater Manchester Police for questioning this week. United confirmed on Friday morning that the winger would come back into the squad upon returning to the UK. He was spotted arriving at Carrington on Saturday morning before attending the 1-0 defeat against Crystal Palace on Saturday. Cavallan's lawyers have now issued a statement on her behalf following the footballer's return to his club. In the statement, they say if that Gabriela Cavallin's attorneys inform that the crimes committed by the player are still being investigated by the Manchester police and also the Brazilian police, which is why we believe that he will soon be sent to court, where he will have to face a trial. It seems obvious to us that fallacies would be created with the intention of the team bringing him back to training. United made the decision to reintegrate Antony into the squad after noting he had not been arrested, detained, or charged. The winger's decision to speak with GMP was voluntary. In the statement, the club said, Since allegations were first made in June, Antony has cooperated with police inquiries in both Brazil and the UK, and he continues to do so. As Antony's employer, Manchester United has decided that he will resume training at Carrington and be available for selection while police inquiries proceed. This will be kept under review pending further developments in the case. As a club, we condemn acts of violence and abuse. We recognize the importance of safeguarding all those involved in this situation and acknowledge the impact these allegations have on survivors of abuse. Speaking in his Friday press conference, Eric Ten Hag said Antony should be fit. Despite not having played competitive football since the 3-1 defeat at Arsenal prior to the international break, the winger could be available for Tuesday's Champions League clash against Galatasaray, again and again. The BBC were forced to apologize after a Manchester United star swore live on air. But viewers at home branded the X-rated moment the best thing ever. United ace Lucia Garcia spoke to the media following her equalizer in her side's dramatic 2-1 comeback win in the WSL opener at Aston Villa. However, in the heat of the moment, the Spanish forward dropped a major F-bomb. Player of the match Garcia boomed into the microphone. She then continued, It was a tough, tough match. We fought, and we must rest for Friday when we have a match, so we need to be ready. Meanwhile, Bosses at Manchester United are looking for a new, emerging talent expert. The club are worried about fewer players coming through their ranks and have advertised for a scout to focus on 17, 20-year-olds. It has been several years since the likes of Marcus Rashford, Jesse Lingard, and Scott McTominay broke through as academy players. Hannibal Mabry has begun to work his way into the side after several impressive performances under Eric Ten Hag but the lack of homegrown players developed remains a concern for the Red Devils. On the other side, Manchester United have been handed a blow in their hopes of signing Adrian Rabiot from Juventus. Tuttlesport have reported that the Ida Leon outfit are set to open talks with Rabiot over a new deal. United had come close to signing the midfielder in the summer, but reports suggested Rabiot turned down the move. On the other side, the Manchester Giants are still crying out for midfield reinforcements as Eric Ten Hag battles to retrack his sides off the rail season. Manchester United legend Peter Schmeichel hasn't held back with his scathing review of Sofian Amrabat's full Premier League debut. Amrabat played the full 90 minutes during United's 1-0 home loss to Crystal Palace yesterday, and Schmeichel has made it clear that he wasn't impressed by the Moroccan. He said, we talked about Amrabat before the game. It is his first full Premier League game, and he has just not had a great game. He gives a silly foul away, which leads to this free kick. 
Amrabat fouled Jordan Ayew in the first half, which gave Palace a free kick, which led to Joachim Anderson scoring the game's only goal. Again and again. Sheikh Jassim takeover to be completed this month as Jaden Sancho breaks cover. Manchester United are reeling after yet another Premier League defeat against Crystal Palace, left Eric Ten Hag and his players languishing in 10th position on nine points after seven matches. United were beaten for the fourth time already in the league this season at Old Trafford on Saturday afternoon. A goal midway through the first half from Joachim Anderson was enough to settle the scores. Despite welcoming back Scott McTominay and Christian Eriksen from illness for that defeat, selection and fitness problems continue to mount for United this campaign. Lisandro Martinez, foot, has been ruled out for months, with Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Luke Shaw weeks away from returning. Amid ongoing question marks over Jadon Sancho and his future at the club, United have been linked with a swoop for Juventus star Federico Chiesa as a possible replacement. Reports from the Spanish media indicate it would take a fee of around $60 million to lure him away from the Italian giants during the January transfer window. Meanwhile, Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho has been spotted watching the academy team at Carrington alongside Kabi Mayno following his fallout with manager Eric Ten Hag last month. Following the defeat to Arsenal, Ten Hag told the media Sancho was not in the first-team squad due to his training performances. The 23-year-old refuted this claim on social media and declared he had been made a scapegoat at Old Trafford. On a miserable Saturday afternoon, while United once again prepared for a Premier League clash, Sancho was back at Carrington with Manu. The young central midfielder is currently out of the squad due to an ankle injury suffered during the preseason tour of the U.S. Sancho and Manu posed for a photo with fans as the young Reds put Newcastle United to the sword. Reuben Curley and Shea Lacey's braces, combined with an Ethan Wheatley penalty, secured a comfortable 5-1 victory over the Magpies in the U18 Premier League. While Mainu will hopefully be back in action soon following his injury, it is unclear where the future lies for Sancho. Men's Sport understands the Englishman is open to a move in January should his exile from the squad continue. Dortmund and Barcelona have both been linked with his signature, again and again. BBC pundit Chris Sutton was unimpressed by Sofian Amrabat as the summer signing continued in an unfamiliar position. Morocco international Amrabat was signed as a central midfielder, but has been forced to fill in at left back thanks to an injury crisis at Old Trafford. Given away a free kick, being driven back towards his own goal by Jordan, AU, and he palms it. A keeper would be proud of that, Sutton said. He's not looked comfortable in that left back position today like a fish out of water. Former Premier League champion Sutton was more impressed by Palace's defenders. All the Palace defense, but particularly Guayhi and Anderson at center backs, have been absolute rocks, he said.